Now consider this program. In this program, we are having a pointer p and then an integer number q. Okay. So let us suppose this is the pointer p and this is the integer number q. Okay. Now in the next line, we are storing 100 into this q. That means this integer number q is now going to store 100. Okay. Now let us suppose the address of this pointer p is 1000 and the address of this uh, integer number q is 2000. Okay. Now in the next line, we are doing p is equal to f m percent q. That means we are finding out the address of q and we are storing this address into this p. Right. So this q, uh, the address of q is 2000 which will now be stored into this pointer p. In the next line, I am doing percent %d, comma, star p. Here, this star is acting as a dereferencing point, the dereferencer. So it is acting as a dereferencing. Okay. So if you say int star p, here this star is declaring p, declaring p as pointer. Okay as pointer but here in the printf statement if I am using this star that means it is acting as a dereferencing operator ok it is acting as a dereferencing operator that means this p is pointing to the location 2000 if I use star here that means I am going I am going to this location 2000 I am finding out what is the value stored at the location 2000 which is 100 therefore this will print 100 ok Right now, let us suppose we are having uh, this program. Let us suppose we are having main int a is equal to five, int b is equal to six, right? And then I am doing int star c is equal to address of a. That means this c is storing the address of a. Then I am doing int star d is equal to address of b. That means this b is storing the address of b. And then I am doing int temp is equal to star c. Then star c is equal to star d and then star d is equal to tenth. In the next line I am printing printf percentage d space percentage d comma a comma b. Right? Let us suppose we are having this program. So in this program, so in the line number one, so this is line number one. In the line number one we are saying that this a is an integer number and it is storing the value 5 okay then in the line number 2 we are saying b is an integer number which is storing the value 6 okay in the line number c 3 i am declaring c as a pointer and in this pointer i am storing the address of variable a okay so let us suppose the address of variable a is 1000 and the address of variable b is 2000 okay so why i am saying let us suppose every time when i am saying that uh, is it's at the address of this variable a is 1000 or 2000 because this address is automatically allocated by your operating system you do not have any control on how that on declare uh, on uh, giving an address to a variable so it is automatically done by your operating system okay so here in the third line that means c is a pointer and it is storing the address of a so let us suppose that so the address of a is 1000 therefore c is now going to store 1000 okay then in the line number 4 i am declaring d is a pointer which is storing the address of b right so d is a pointer which is storing the address of b and the address of b is 2000 therefore d is going to store 2000 okay then we are having a temporary variable in the line number 5 we are having a temporary variable which is an integer number so I'm saying temp is equal to star c, right? So here I'm writing, writing star c. That means here the star is acting as a dereferencing operator. So whenever I'm declaring 
this C, in that case, it, this star access that uh, we are declaring a pointer. But whenever there's no uh, very, uh, data type associated with it, for example, here there's no int star C or character star C or float star C, right? So it, here it is acting as a dereferencing operator. That means we are, uh, if C is pointing to some location, then we are going to go to that location and we are going to find the value stored at that location. Okay, so that means I'm j I'll just write it again. So if I write star C here, that means means we will go to the location to the location pointed by the pointer C and then take that value or work on that value take or work on that value okay so here what I'm doing is I'm I'm going to the location pointed by C and store and then I'm storing that value in this temporary variable okay so let us suppose this is the temporary variable so the C pointer is pointing to the location 1000 therefore I will go to the location 1000 and then I will find the value stored at the location 1000 that value is 5 and then I'm going to store that value in the temporary variable therefore this temporary variable is now going to store 5 okay now in the next line line number 6 I'm doing star D is equal to this star C is equal to star D that means the value uh, the, the location pointed by the pointer D I'm going to find that value which is stored at that location and then I'm going to store that value in this location which is pointed by the a pointer C right so that means here star D means this star this pointer P is pointing to this location 2000 and the value stored at the location 2000 is 6 so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find out the value stored at the location 2000 and then I'm going to store that value with to the location which is pointed by this C okay so it may be difficult but I'm saying it again so what I'm doing is I'm finding the location which is pointed by the pointer D and I'll go to that location I'll take the value because it, this here the star is acting as a dereferencing operator I'll take that value and stored in that location and then I'm storing that value to the location which is pointed by C right so now the location which is pointed by C is 5 this 1000 and location which is pointed by D is 2000 therefore what I am going to do is I am going to take the value stored at location 2000 and I will store it to the location 1000 therefore this 1000 location will now contain the value 6 ok now in the next line line number 7 I am doing temp is equal to star D right that means I am storing the value which is stored in the variable temp to into the location which is pointed by D right so this temp is storing the value 5 so I will store this value to the location which is pointed by D and that location is this variable B or 2000 so I am going to store this 5 here ok now in the next line line number 8 I am printing the values of variable A and B therefore I am going to print 6 and 5 so this 6 and 5 will be the output of this program right now there are a lot of things which uh, which are allowed in the pointers and which are uh, some things which are not allowed uh, using the uh, when when you are using the pointers so let us see some examples now